Hello everyone, it's me Oshik Thapar. Today I'm back with another new video and I'm going to talk about my first task as a Python internship on code clause that is the Python calculator and I have used a standard GUI library of Python known as the TK Inter which is used to create GUI applications in a faster and easier way. Now before diving into our uh, code or before we are exploring our code, let's see the demo of our project how our project gives the output how the output looks like let's run the project now this is my python calculator this is the tk enter windows now first we need to uh, turn on the calculator by using the on button now the calculator is on so you can see the text uh, box input box here now let's uh, let's do uh, let's operate some simple mathematical operation let's see 1 plus 5 equals to 6 1 plus 5 equal to 6 yes of course now let's clear the output and again uh, let's see the another 9 to the power 3 9 to the power 3 equal to 729 let's uh, prove this 729 9 into 9 into 9 which is the 9 to the power 3 and this is giving the 729 so let's this is confirmed and uh, let's see other uh, complex mathematical operations like 8 minus uh, 3 bracket divide 8 minus 3 equal to 5 divide by 2 let's see how this is given I mistyped type the 2 2 times now let's uh, but I am trying to do 8 minus 3 divided by 2 only so for that I am going to delete uh, I need to delete this 2 so this is done by using the delete button and now let's click the equals to and this is giving the 2.5 which is the correct answer now uh, now let's explore our code first we need to import the tkinter library of python is typing the command is import tk enter then after that let's see our code first uh, we need to first we need to create the tk enter windows so that is the calc um, i have uh, named the window as a calc underscore window variable civics and uh, i have created the tk enter window using the tk enter dot TK. and then i have named that i have given the name or title of the window is the python calculator and all are in the uppercase and then i have configured the background of the window is a this color so i have using the uh, bg as a parameter so and giving the value this so my my background looks like this behind the buttons then after that i have uh, i have created the calc is equal to calculator and before that i am going to uh, i am going to make clear about the calc underscore window dot main loop what this does is uh, if if we do not uh, do not write this line then our tk intro window will will appear for very short period of time and it will just close so in order to make that window window visible for a longer period of time or for uh, looping uh, looping for an infinite time we need to make we need to use this calc underscore window dot main loop method now uh, the calculator here is uh, is it our class look the calculator class calculator so i have created the class now name is calculator and within our define diff init method which is the constructor of the class which will be called automatically when the class is instantiated so at first uh, the self dot calc uh, self dot state will be first what this variable is uh, is for before before the uh, is before we create the just we create the calculator then our calculator will be at the off state that is it value will be the false and when we turn on the calculator then it states we must be the either the on state which is represented by the true value 
so this is this what the state method takes it will take the true and the false value and the cell dot result is initially it will take on this it is set as zero and cell dot text is also taken as a empty string and cell dot row and the cell dot column they are for the uh, for uh, making for the placements of our ticky enter widgets that is buttons and the uh, input box for that i am uh, instantiating the uh, and setting this their value as a 0 0 and cell dot create calc is the calc function must be called initially when the uh, calculator is calculator uh, class is instantiated so what does the uh, cell dot create calc function do let's see this first the cell dot create calc does not take any uh, any other parameters except the self and i have created the button list like clear zero on one two three four five six seven and then what this button list uh, is look these are my buttons list clear clear zero zero on one two three four five six these are the button list i have created and for every button in button list for the clear zero um, on one two three for every button in button list i am going to create the buttons in my tk winter windows so for that uh, i am for, for first button let's see for the first button clear button clear button it is creating the cell uh, cell dot create it is calling the cell dot create and passing the button name as a that is a clear as a Uh, parameter uh, sorry argument now let's see how the cell dot create button works cell uh, dot create button look, defines create buttons and it is taking the uh, one parameter uh, one parameter uh, other than the self as an argument that is the button and the button is equal to this button and this button are different this button is <coughs> and uh, and now i am creating the button using the tk enter dot button method and the text will be the button name that is the if it first i am passing the clear clr so the clr will be the text and the command is equal to lambda cell dot button clicked button i will come back this after explaining the this two lines of code okay now i am uh, configuring the button I am setting the configuration of the button is width is equal to 8, width height is equal to 2, font is equal to new times Roman 18 and bold. And uh, I am placing the button at the column is equal to cell dot column. Initially, cell dot column is equal to 0, cell dot row is equal to 0, and giving the pair x is equal to 3 and pair y is equal to 3. Looks what it is. Look, this side is the pair x equal to 3 this is pair y is equal to 3 and this is 6 because for this button this is 3 and for this button this is 3 so it will totally uh, occupy the 6 space then what i am what i am trying to do is that <coughs> what i am trying to do is that for every button how i am creating my uh, but uh, my calculator looks like is for uh, each row in my calculator there will be three buttons so for that i am going to i am what i am doing is that firstly the first button is created as the column zero row zero then the column value is increased so the column value will be one and column value cell dot column is equal to cell dot modulo 3 what it does uh, what it does is that if the column value goes on uh, if the column value goes on reaches the 3 it will again again circle its value from the face again 0 1 2 and if it is 3 then again it will come back to 0 so what it is doing and if the cell dot column equal to 0 
when it, this will be reached if the column value is the multiple of 3 that is at the uh, 0 at 1 sorry at 0 at 3 at 6 so this is so for that we need to increase the row value we need to change the row value and increase by 1 so for every row there will be the three patterns look like this looks beautiful and this is what this line of code is doing and now let's see our lambda functions what it is doing is for when the button is clicked button is clicked then we will call our lambda function with within the lambda function there is another function named is button clicked self dot button clicked and it is taking the argument as the button dot c get which is the which is getting the configuration of our button like text command or any other height width this can also be assessed from the dot c get method so i am uh, only assessing the text and sending this as a parameter to the button clicked function now let's see our what button clicked function is doing button clicked uh, taking the argument as text for the first uh, button button we uh, we will getting we will passing the clr as a text so so what it is doing it is taking the clr and if the text is equal to is equal to on first we need to turn on the calculator so if it will if the text is equal to on then we will uh, change the state as a cell that state as a true and if the cell dot state that is it if the calculator is on then all the other functionalities will be will be carried out so this uh, uh, so what i am doing is to realizing or uh, simulating the uh, real world calculator features if calculator button is on then only we can compute other um, compute our expressions and get results so for that uh, if the self dot state button is that is self dot button uh, so self dot state is true that it means the calculator is at the on state so our input box we will create the input box is a entry tk enter dot entry and the background color is gray foreground is white with 30 font look like this and i'm placing this as a uh, row self dot row means row value will be increasing and increasing and increasing so from here row value is increasing and the call span is equal to three that means it will occupies the three columns and pair y is equal to 20 20 20 means from the upper 20 lower also 20 and input box that focus means our box will be entry box will be directly focused what looks like this when we will click the on button look what it is doing on then there there is a blink in the input box this means the you know, yeah, this means it is focusing that that this line of the code is doing and if the uh, text is equal to clear or the text is equal to on then we will uh, we will make ourselves that text is equal to empty string okay and after going through all these lines what you will understand what the cell that text is doing so First, let's uh, you understand. Firstly, the cell dot text is equal to empty string, and if it is clear or the or the on state, on state, we need to insert in the input box as a at the initial position from the initial zeroth position of the text box. That is the uh, entry box. We will uh, insert the text as a empty string. So we will insert the cell dot text. So it looks like this. If it is clear, then there is an empty string. Looks so you can see nothing uh, appear in the input box. If also this is on, then it is nothing displaying or inserting in the within the input box. So this is doing what it is doing. And uh, else, else, sorry. Now else this line. If text is equal to equal to equals to sign. If the text equals to calls to sign then what we need to do we need to compute our result so for that if the cell dot text equal to empty then if there if the if there is no any expression within the input box input box then we will display our result as a zero so what is this doing is that 
we need to on the calculator and if there is nothing in within our input box then if we click on the equal to button it will display the zero else this part will be explained after going through this two lines okay uh, so that you will get the clear understanding else if the text is equal to delete i have already explained text is equal to delete then what i am doing if tell cell the text is not empty if this is not empty then we are going to delete the last item of the last item of the text so for deleting the uh, last item of the string we are going to uh, slice our string from the zero to the last person so the last is excluded from our input and that will be again displayed or inserted into the into the input box okay and else else if our express uh, if our text is plus one two three plus minus multiply and brackets these signs then what we are doing we are doing cell dot text is equal to we are appending the all the expressions as a string into the text cell dot text variables so all the buttons clicked are appended and saved as a string in within the cell dot text attribute uh, sorry variable and we are displaying that in within the our uh, input box looks if i am clicking i'm i will i need to turn on the calculator first on and i click one plus two then this is the cell dot text value is a string and these are displayed within in the within the input box by this code of this line of the course okay now after that now let's see our last part which is the if the text equal to equals to if it is empty it will display the zero and else it will calculate or evaluate the string of mathematical of mathematical expressions so our cell dot text will will be the string consisting of mathematical expressions so it will only you know, work with the valid mathematical expression so uh, what eval function is doing is that it will compute the mathematical expression of the string so this is very powerful function i have uh, um, i have this function made my project very easier and i have given the reference to this project you can visit this uh, url and have more information about the eval function and after that the eval function evaluates and computes the mathematical expression then it will save in the result value and we will delete our mathematical expression uh, expression sorry expression after clicking the equals to so that we will only we, we can only display our output so i'm first deleting all all the mathematical expressions clicked and after clicking the equals to i will only display the result value so i am displaying only the result value and again after displaying the result value our cell dot text must be empty so that new expression will be appended after that now this is the overall project and at last i am going to uh, i am going to show what i have said for the this line of the code look what it is doing is if clear let's see it's let's see let's restart this our program and let's see first we need to turn on the calculator and one plus two eight and when the equal to is clicked then it will it must it must uh, one plus eight must be disappear and only the one plus eight equal to nine must be appear on the screen that is what it is doing look nine will be up here and out the cell dot text equal to empty so that the new expression will be carried out now this is my project uh, if you like this video video please like and for more videos like this please subscribe my channel thank you so much